Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and today I'm going to talk about my first 10 days on keto. So the journey began in August when I came home from my birthday vacation. It was a nine day trip all the way up to Canada and back. And we did. And we ate and we drank and we had a good old time. Every meal was eaten out. We hit probably between eight and 10 wineries. And of course we had to taste test at every one of them. So by the time I got home from that trip and got on the scale, I was horrified. I had done, gained nine, almost 10 pounds and was just in shock at the scale. Back up to 231 pounds, not a fun moment. So I decided the next day we was going on some kind of diet. I'd been researching a little bit of the keto lifestyle, looking into it, doing a lot more video watching than anything on YouTube. Found a lot of people that I was interested in watching and had been following for a little while. So I decided to jump full force head in and give it a try for a few months. So my goal was just to try it till the end of the year, see how things turned out. If it worked, great, we'd keep on doing it. If it didn't, then guess what? I was just gonna quit, be fat and happy because I have tried every diet under the sun. So I knew that honestly the weight gain was probably a lot of water weight. I do a lot of traveling and every trip that we come back off on, I'm always up three to five pounds. And it always comes off within the first week or so but it never fails. Traveling does not agree with me, but I love to do it and I do it often. And so I'm just gonna have this fluctuation in the skill every time I travel. I already know this. So I decided to start on this, this lifestyle or this diet, whatever you wanna call it. So for the first 10 days, I pretty much ate the same things over and over. I really didn't know what to eat. We did a lot of jalapeno poppers and a lot of hamburger meat taco salads, stuff like that, because I'm a creature of habit and I eat the same things over and over again. I talked my daughter into coming along on this journey with me and she said, okay, I don't know if she knew what she was getting herself into, but as long as I did all the cooking, she was more than glad to eat the food I cooked. So this is where the journey began. <laughs> so I took a lot of pictures on our trip. If anybody knows me well, they know that I am a picture taker. There's a story behind this, because I used to not be. Early years, you would never find a picture of me anywhere. But now, there's pictures of me everywhere. Probably to the point it annoys people. But I take a lot of pictures. And I'm glad I did on this trip, because it gives me a starting point, or some before pictures. So when I do finally hit my end goal and reach that goal weight, shooting between 155-ish, We'll see. I've, I've always said 165, but I don't know. We'll see. 155 to 165. Um, I'm glad I have all these pictures from this trip that we were on for starter pictures. And I'm hoping when I finally do hit my goal weight or even several months from now, I can put some side by sides up and really see a difference. So I drank a lot of water, which was one of the first things that everybody tells you to do. So each day I would drink a lot of water. I drank some tea. I did not do electrolytes um, for the first week or so because I really didn't understand that they were so important until I started getting leg cramps about day eight. So I went to Sam's and bought some Zip Fizz, started drinking one of those a day, and I have not had a cramp since. So electrolytes, I guess, are really, really important. <laughs> I did not know that in the beginning, and I'm still fumbling through things. I don't know probably half of what I need to know, but I'm learning as I go. So, so other than the electrolytes and drinking a lot of water, I really tried to work on my food intake for this first 10 days. Um, making sure I hit my protein and my fat content. We did do a lot of bulletproof coffee. I am not a coffee drinker, have not drank coffee my entire life. And when I started this, right after my 47th birthday, now I drink coffee every day. <laughs> so we did do bulletproof coffee, like I said, and a lot of fattier foods. 
So a typical day of eating for me for the first 10 days was pretty much the same thing over and over. For breakfast, I would do my bulletproof coffee. I would drink that on the way to work. Then I would bring to work two scrambled eggs and two strips of bacon. And I would have that in the early morning time, probably about 10.30 or so. And then at lunch, about one, I would eat steak and spinach dip. I fell in love with spinach artichoke dip. And I literally used that as like a dipping sauce for my steak. And that's what I would eat almost every single day. For dinner, sometimes it was a mixture between either repeat of steak and asparagus, uh, bacon wrapped asparagus, or um, spinach dip. Our green beans we did a lot of green beans and with bacon bits in them and then like I said the jalapeno poppers was a staple also I would make those up like 30 and 40 at a time freeze some of them and just warm them up every day during this time I did not exercise at all for these first 10 days it was just strictly working on the diet food intake making sure that I'm getting enough fat in, which was something that is so foreign to me because I've never done this before. It was hard to try to figure out macros and all that. It's just a lot of things you had to try to figure out, and I don't know if I was doing it properly or not, but something was working right because the scale finally started moving. At the end of the 10 days, I had lost 10 pounds, and I was ecstatic. Now, like I said earlier, I know a lot of that was water weight from travel, but to go from 231 to 221 in 10 days was great. I have never seen that much weight loss in such a short period of time, so I was happy with it. So I decided to keep on going and see where this thing ends up, and I'm going to keep you updated. Try weekly updates. Hopefully I can... Do a weekly update, scale update, um, maybe do some food videos. Like I said, I'm a definitely a creature of habit, so it'll probably be a lot of same things over and over. But as long as it's working, I'm gonna keep going. When it finally stops working, then I'll have to switch up and do something else, I'm sure. But right now, as what they call lazy keto, that's what I'm doing, and so far, so good. So let's just see how the rest of this journey goes. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, hit the button below, and I will see you next time around. Bye.